Hey, Red Edition, welcome, happy day. You know what, I can't teach you anything because you're a lot smarter than me and I know that, but let me remind you what you already know. And I think this is kind of important stuff. Here we go, socialism versus capitalism. This report that came out here just recently says that 44% of all students would prefer to live in a socialist country. However, when asked to describe what socialism truly is, 80% of them had no clue. Okay, talk about being dumbed down, right? I, I mean, wow. So let me keep reminding you things, stuff. What is socialism? I gotta read this, I had to write it down. It is so profound. This is stuff, it's kind of like the Bible if you're a Christian, you gotta keep reading it so you really get it. And you always gotta make sure that you remember why you are a Christian. Why am I a capitalist? This is why. What is socialism? It is an economic and political system based on government or collective ownership of the means of production. Socialism emphasizes equality rather than achievement and values workers by the amount of time they put in rather than by the amount of value they produce. It also makes individuals dependent on the state for everything from food to health care and they no longer have a choice. The government takes your choice away. They think for you because you are too stupid. What is capitalism? Capitalism. It is a system, I'm a capitalist, hey, in case you didn't know, it is a system of economics based on the private ownership of capital and production inputs and on the production of goods and services for profit. The production of goods and services is based on supply and demand in the general market, the market economy, rather than through central planning command economy. Capitalism is often closely associated with economic growth as production and price are determined by the market rather than by government. And people who interfere and who don't have minds anyway, for the most part. Private property rights provide individuals with the freedom to produce goods and services they can sell in the market. What's the difference? Well, firstly, communism is socialism in a hurry. Y'all do need to know that. Socialism, the means of production are owned or controlled by the government. The government decides what things will be made, how they will be made, who will get them, and the price at which the goods will be offered for sale. This is a command economy. Capitalism, well, it's a free market, a free market economy. There's your reminder for the day. And, and we need to preach that back to the church thing. You gotta preach it. And, and, uh, and if I was in a church, if I was the leader of a church, I would want the church to be full of atheists so I could do my job. We need to go out and talk to people about this. Yeah, but then you would make money if you're a capitalist and I wouldn't have money, but you'd have a job. You'd have respect, you'd have dignity, and eventually you would have more money. I mean, this business here being operated and ran by people who couldn't get a job in the free marketplace. Those are the government people I'm talking about. You wouldn't hire them anyway. I wouldn't. We don't want them because they're useless. It's good we don't get the government that we pay for too as a point of interest. Another thing to remind you about oil prices. Now, they say in Canada that the prime mistake there has cost the Canadian economy more than $100 billion because of his mess ups and screw ups. And he's only been prime mistake or prime minister, I guess I should say, I think for three years. I mean, that's bad news. Over $30 billion uh, was going to be invested by some oil companies and they said, hey, this ain't capitalism anymore. This is socialism. We can't do this. We can't operate here. I mean, if you want to have an omelet, you gotta break an egg. And he says, no, the environment is such, let's have an omelet. You can have an omelet. I want you to make an omelet, oh, but you can't break an egg. That doesn't work that way. Trump, quickly to him, 52% of the people who voted against him were women. You know, you got to kind of get with it there, Mr. President. I mean, the women are mad at you not because of your performance in terms of the country. They're mad at you in terms of your performance as an individual. So you got to kind of work on that. They don't like the way you tweet. They don't like the way this and the way that. But the results, I think everybody likes. So there has to be a way to do that. And I know how to do that. You and I will sit down someday and have a chat. My people will call your people, okay? Okay, hey, that's all I got for the day. But you're coming back tomorrow. We're gonna have more profound things for you. See ya.